Game two of a two-game weekend series concluded on Sunday afternoon when the Tri-City Storm played the Fargo Force for the second time in less than 24 hours. And I'm Adam McLaughlin here with your game recap. It was Chase Berger who was needed in this one to tie the game up right out of the gates in the third period when the Storm tied the game up at 2-2. Two to two. But the Fargo Force took the lead from there on out adding two third period goals in this one to win the game four to three and taking a two game weekend series with the Storm. And here's Sunday's game recap. Back there by Cody Longy of Fargo. Now Gafari, they almost turned it over. There's a shot to score! On the turnover, Chris Wilkie makes it one nothing Tri-City. Laboski got the turnover, left it for Wilkie, and the Storm are up one nothing. And now Moore ends up with the puck back on his stick. From the far side, leaves it down low. It's Hines on the far side wall. Now to the center. Hines gets wide up by one man, holding, shooting, and scores. Nice move and a goal from Tyler Hines. Sent in deep, fry tag. Going to work it to the far side wall. Fargo able to take possession, get it out of the zone. Here comes Zervin on the far side. Zervin shoots and scores. Andrew Zervin with his fourth game in a row with a goal for Fargo. One forward by Tri-City and Freitag sends it down once more. That'll do it for the first period. On the near side, Poganski into the zone. Gets by his man, Poganski to the center, save, rebound, save, another save, and a shot goes wide. Face off is won by Fargo, Jago takes a hit from Curry and that's it for the period. As Curry ends up on the ground with two Fargo players in front of him. We got some pushing and shoving in the corner. Neil Goff at the center of everything. Berger and Babcock locked up front. Now Wilkie over to Lavosky. Nice pass in the corner from Milan. Milan finds Wilkie with a shot. Save made, rebound, score! Looks like Danny Lavosky put it home on the backside. And Tri-City ties the game two to two with a power play goal in the opening minute of the third period, Fargo Try to bank it up top. Kevin Kerr keeping it in. A shot from Valisano went over the net, deflected up top. So now Val Valisano retreats back, and here comes Fargo with a brush. As it's on the near side, Morelli with a shot. Big rebound, score! Fargo has retaken the lead as it's Jackstat that put it home. Alex Jackstat played it back, lost the puck. Here's Hines. Hines moves in. Levine poke checks it off the stick. The net comes off. Jackstat, who has the difference maker in this one, controlling the puck to Morelli. Morelli now, up top. And a shot through and a score. Deflection in front, and Fargo has made it a 4-2 game with 7.59 to go. Milan on the near side. With Berger fan on a one-timer. Wilkie got it back, gloved it down to himself. Wilkie now in the center with a shot was blocked. Rebound, put in! It's a 4-3 game in the storm. Get the goal with the extra attacker, Malisano in the corner. Jago working for Fargo. It's sent in deep, Wilkie. Wilkie in the corner. To the center, Poganski a shot. And a save is made by Israelson. Kevin Kerr on the near side now. To the far side wall, Neil Goff hammers it down. Wilkie with it, five seconds to go. Fargo takes it back and Garrett Gray will shoot. It's blocked by Kerr, but that'll do it for the game. The game has ended, and Fargo has won. Final score, 4-3. to three. The Storm will continue their home stretch of games here in March this weekend on March 7th and 8th at the Vero Event Center with two games against the Muskegon Lumberjacks as Saturday is the big lapdog races promotion. And we'll see you here at the games.